guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the Arsenio Buck Show, and today we're getting into core number four, guys. We're going to be getting into the results. What's your track record? Guys, track records mean everything. See, if you want to establish the credibility, see, without the results, you have no credibility. How can you establish and maintain that trust in someone when you're not credible whatsoever. See, without the results, you simply just do not have that same kind of clout. So what do I mean by that? Well, guys, let's look at it this way. Remember a long time ago I gave you guys that dog trainer? The dog trainer that came on Gary V. Uh, and they were talking about, hey, you know, we don't know what we should make in terms of, you know, you know, training dogs and stuff like that. He's like, listen, you know what separates everyone on Instagram from everyone else? All these ridiculous ass millionaire, millionaire entrepreneurs, all these fool ass guys that actually rent out private jets, they rent out the cars, they rent out the suits, they rent out everything to get all these weak minded ass individuals to buy into their bullshit ass system. Ah, oh, yeah, that's it. See, if I can't find a video of you anywhere on the net, and although you have 1.2 million followers and you're talking about, listen, uh, you know, figure out how you can make, you know, six figures like, you know, in two months. It's all bullshit. You're not credible whatsoever. How the hell am I going to trust you if that's all bullshit? Give me one video. Show me one video. See, you know, I had, um, of course, the podcast this weekend. I had Juliet Stapleton. She is going to be coming on tomorrow, so you guys stay tuned for that. And it's going to be two different podcasts. I do apologize. My speaker thing got real stupid. But you know what she was talking about? You need to put your face on your business because if you don't do that, I mean, you're just not going to establish any credibility. This is what Stephen Covey is talking about in here. It's extremely important to show the world who you are. Because guess what? If we look at all... Guys, this is what separates me from everyone else. I just got two extra students here in Thailand because they need to learn IELTS, right? And how was I able to do that? Well, it was very, very simple. They already know, in terms of credibility, what I produced, why? Because my Facebook page shows everything. The podcast and almost what I'm, I'm guessing like somewhere around 300 shows what I've done. The YouTube channel that I've been doing for four years and all those IELTS videos and TOEIC videos on there shows everything. The Instagram one minute videos shows everything. And you know what? The test results that I post up to, it shows everything. It has the date. It has everything. Now, some people will be like, oh, well, maybe you took a picture of someone else's test score and they didn't learn with the – all that ridiculous ass stuff, right? It could be just about anything out there. But I know exactly how credible I am. And because you know what? I teach people and that's why I do life coaching because then people are like, whoa, this guy is the real deal. See, that's what it comes down – that's what separates me from all these other bullshit ass websites. This is how I'm going to pro- – no, it's not even about making more money. But remember what Pat Flynn said. He was terrified because there was this name brand thing coming out and they were going to start selling. And Pat Flynn was like, oh, man, you know what, man? I'm doomed. There's no way. No way I'm going to end up um, you know, get making any sales. And he said that was the month that he made the most sales in his company at one time. So he started asking everyone who actually bought his product. Why'd you buy it? He was like, oh, because we establish that trust with you. We know you personally. We don't know that other website. So the British Council and all these other websites that I do, of course, on this site, I'm talking about the English language training. There's no credibility there. Oh, yeah, take this. And you know what? You'll do this. You'll do that. Where are your videos? Can I speak to someone face to face? How do I know this is going to work? Do you have any free training videos that I actually, you know, that I can learn from? No? Well, then. That's it. And I'm not going to hard sell anyone. You know, it's kind of like when people come into my YouTube and there was one lady lady that she ended up uh, asking me a question. And she's like, you know what? I'm just going to learn from your YouTube videos. I'm not going to hard sell. I'm going to soft sell. I'm going to say, you know what? Perfect. That's wonderful. And if you need any questions or if you're interested later on because you're not getting the results, please come back to me. Wonderful. And guess what? She didn't have to come back to me. I don't have to hard sell everyone. My track record speaks for itself, guys. This is why it's very, very important. However, what if you're actually getting the results, but you're violating one of the other three cores, right? What about the integrity or, you know, or, you know, that, that, you, you know, you're creating losses for others. It could taste bad. It could smell bad. Even if it looks good on the outside, it's rotten in the inside. And you know what? That's going to completely destroy your long-term credibility and trust. 
So if you look at it here, one guy, he employed, employed me, right? He said, well, of course, this is like the, the outside world, you know, here in Thailand, you know, just to get that extra residual income. This will all be finished very, very soon. He said, hey, can you teach IELTS? I said, yes. He said, you know, how many IELTS, uh, you know, have you taught before? I was like, uh, well, probably like 250. Uh, but he didn't really ask me that, but he just said, okay, you can teach IELTS. He had already established that trust. Now, regardless of his integrity or whatnot, he believed that I could teach it. Now, I already knew I could teach it. Now, on the other hand, if I go – IELTS, of course, is a test prep course, right? On the other hand, I went to a lady, and I remember three years ago I had this interview. I showed them how to you know, do the IELTS writing, and I remember I was at an interview with this lady, and she contacted me out of nowhere after one year trying to give me a contract. Why? Because she was desperate, and I sensed her desperation, and I sensed her ignorance too because she told me during the meeting. She's like, oh, well, you know, I saw you – uh, like, like two years ago, this was at the time, I saw you two years ago, you know, do your, your, your blah, 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 and, you know, I think you're more for, you know, business communication, not for IELTS or academic, and I'm like, wow, so she's basing me, so literally, because that demo, she's basing, like, she has no trust in me whatsoever, how can I work for someone who has no trust in me? Yes, she is completely wrong, and it was laughable. I laughed my way all the way back to the train. I was like, I was going to tell her, listen, I'm writing, speaking, and listening books. Listen, I've gotten people into universities all over the world, but I don't have to because my track record always – it already speaks for itself. I don't have to prove anything to anyone. But for someone to not have that credibility and to put some kind of impression upon my mind saying, well, I don't think you could do the writing – Listen, I've worked with the best language center in all of Thailand. The guy, the guy Richard, of course, he's the guy that runs the language center. He's, an, he's the IELTS examiner. He wrote a book. He says I'm good. If, one, if a guy who's been teaching IELTS for 30 years says I'm good, even if he says I wasn't good, I'm still good because I know what I'm capable of. I've seen all of the scores my students have given me, and they've went on to some of the best universities in the world. So I don't need someone to tell me, oh, we don't think you can, because once they say that, trust is gone, and you know what? Probably before that, within the first three minutes, my mind was already outside. I was like, this lady's stupid as hell. But then when she said that, I tried holding in that laugh, but I kind of like, kind of smirked and said, does she, did she, she said, oh, oh my God, are sending her, okay, listen, just get on out of here and just block the email and just, you know, get rid of her, boy. She is undeserving of what you got to offer. Better yet, you know what, how about this? How about I create my own online software and my students will come to me. I'm going to take all your students. Now I'm your competitor. Why? Because you know what? They can establish trust within me rather than an organization that's trying to hose the students for as much money as possible. She's like, oh, I don't know if you could teach our students. It was just a bunch of, I don't know, I don't know. Students are students, man. I teach students in India. I teach students in Tunisia, Nepal, Egypt. I got a lot of people in Japan and China. It doesn't matter who anyone is, nationality, ethnic, creed, color, whatever you want to call it. I'm the man. I got my track record. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm going to – that blonde that blonde response, it is ridiculous. It's outrageous, but please do not take it personally. It's just people who are completely clueless. So, guys, remember the whole metaphor thing that I told you guys about? You know, it's like – um. What is it? Uh, the trees. The trees. So, of course, at the bottom, you got the roots. The trunk goes into the branches. Well, you know what? The results are the fruits, okay? So when I said, you know, it could be fruit, uh, good fruit on the outside, but it might be rotten in the inside. See, those who live the values but achieve low results can often be trained, coached, or moved to another role. Right? Remember I told you about that in organizations. See, if they don't improve, they may need to be let go. And that's just how businesses run. Luckily, I don't work in that type of world. And you know what? If someone ever thought about, you know, letting me go or moving me to another thing, I'd be like, uh, fuck you. I know what I'm capable of. And if I did, if I did want to accept some of your constructive criticism, okay. But if you're saying I'm completely unworthy of teaching this and teaching that, how about this? I set up a Facebook ad. And I run them against you to take all your students and to send them off to universities. And no, I'm not going to rub it in your face because I already know what I'm capable of. Guys, this is a test created by people just like me. You know what I mean? So, again, 
the hardest of all is to deal with people who have high results, but they actually have poor living values. So, I mean, I've seen a lot of these people who are unbelievably capable. There was a guy named Palm. He was actually one of the most insidious, disgu- he, was a par- he was cancer, literally. And you know what? Apparently, he had gotten the results, okay? But all the other values completely lacked, and it cost him his job. Because he was such, he was so parasitic. Everything he touched turned to shit. He would come in, and he would make everyone's life miserable. This is a 55-year-old man that was in Thailand for whatever reason, and he would say, I absolutely hate this country, and all these ridiculous things. And so again, if you have the core number four, but you're lacking core number two or core number three, you're in fuck-all trouble. So let's go over these. We got four bullet points that you're going to have to discuss. What kinds of results right now are you currently producing? See, do those results in, do those results increase or diminish your personal credibility? If you were considering hiring someone, to what extent would that person's track record and current performance influence your decision? Very important. How good is your own track record? How likely would someone be to hire you based upon it? Right? So how good are how good is your track record and how good would it be for someone to hire you? You have to look at it from another person's perspective. And how good are you at identifying desired results and executing effectively to accomplish those results? Does your performance inspire confidence and trust? That was very, very easy because I remember it was real quick, man. It was like, um, ooh, what had happened? I forgot what had happened, but there was a, a specific student. His name, I forgot his name, but he I was actually sharing him with another teacher and you know, this guy, he was like, hey, you know what? I've gotten a really bad score on this specific test. I said, okay, what was your listen? He said 175. I said, okay, listen, I got you for eight teaching hours. I need to get you at least up to 300. He was like, yeah, right. I can't do that. And so after nine hours, we took a test. He was at, from 185, he went up to about 330. And he was amazed. I said, nah, but I honestly think you could get 400. He went up to 420 on the last test of the day. And you know what? On a test, an overall test that he needed to get 600, all I had to do was teach him to listen in. On an overall test that needed to get him just that 600, he ended up getting, I think, about 780. And he got a massive raise because of it. Another IELTS student that I've been seeing for a very, very long time, she needed to take that same test. And she was so worried. She's like, are you sure I'm going to get it? Are you sure I'm going to get it? And I was like, listen, you're already the best. Okay? We're going to go over one hour of relearning at my place. And then you'll be ready to go. She took her test. Out of, in this test, you could get a score of 990. She got like 960. And I was like, what were you worried about? You're the best. And of course, you have that trust within me that you will get that score. I've already done this for you three years ago. I got you the IELTS score. Now we're going to get the TOEIC. It's easy. You're the best. Listen, guys, it's all about track record. I know exactly what I'm capable of. If someone says I'm incapable, well, of course, that someone is cut off. And then I get a nice good laugh out of it. And then I say, you know what? I'm going to take some of your students. Why? Because, well, students don't want to be hosed. And they don't want to be, they don't want to give money to a company. They want to give money to an individual. And this is why so many people are coming to me. So guys, this is how it works. Seriously. I really want you guys to think about this and write those questions down that I put out at the end. So guys, with that being said, man, happy Friday, everyone. You know what? It's a grind goddamn every day. I got some wonderful things coming up tomorrow. It's a double podcast again. There are two different podcasts. I apologize for that. After that Sunday, I got another magnificent interviewee. And you know what? We're going to kick it off again on Monday with some good stuff. Guys, we got a lot of things coming up. So every Saturday and Sunday is action-packed. You just stay tuned. And until then, people, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. I'm your host, Arsenio, as usual, over and out.